the markets and your money stock futures, they are recovering a little bit. Dow futures right now are up 114 points. And we're joined now by Michael Tyler. He is CIO of Eastern Bank Wealth Management. Michael, I guess the only question that matters right now is this. Yesterday, the internals were terrible. Market fell 767 points. Bonds, Bitcoin, and gold rallied. One day wonder or the start of something a little more worrisome? How about neither? Um, it's not or a one-day wonder. I think the market has some potential uh, to continue to weaken. But in the, long, in the grand scheme of things, this is just short-term moves. Um, one of your earlier commentators, I think, was right on the money in suggesting that markets go up and down. We're only down 5 or 6% from the high, for goodness sake. Um, and I don't see a disaster on hand. But I think that there's potential if you look at earnings growth slowing down, if you look at a potential, not trade fight, but trade war really breaking out, there is risk. There's mm -hmm. absolutely risk in the markets now that there wasn't a few weeks ago. Yeah, and, and in fact, right after this in our RBI, we're going to show our viewers that these kinds of moves like yesterday are not that abnormal. To your point, again, we've all been doing this a long time. We know that market declines are healthy. I think the reason people got spooked, and maybe it's a little different this time, Michael, is we've not only got a trade war, but yesterday, I guess, the specter of a currency war. And, and that way lies madness. Um, the, there's no easy exit from that once you get started. And that's why there's more risk now. And, and the articles I'm reading about how many people we sent to China for the last round of talks, how serious the, the negotiators really are, it sounds like the gloves are off. It sounds like they're beginning to lay in for the long term as opposed to just kind of normal day-to-day -day negotiating. Um, that's more worrisome to markets, and so I think that's why equities are at some risk. And, and let's face it, you know, the, the earnings growth hasn't been spectacular. Um, it, we're flat earnings this year, even though we've had a lot of beats, that just means we're not down. Um, the earnings growth is not all that fantastic, and the market's going to notice that. Very quickly, market's flat for the rest of the year, then you think, Michael? Quickly. I think flat is pretty good. You know, we've got some tough earnings comparisons in the second half. Uh, so I, I think that if we can get out of the mark, out of the year around 3,000, maybe a little bit higher than that for the S&P, we'll be in good shape. Michael Tyler, Eastern Bank, we appreciate it, Michael. Great stuff, great analysis. Thank you very much. All right, as we noted, it is time for your morning RBI. And with Monday's big drop, the S&P 500 is now down 5% from its July highs. But how worried do you have to be about the drop? You just heard Michael say, don't. It's kind of normal. And yes, that point size was scary. We don't see a lot of drops like that.